this lecture we're going to discuss what fats and oils are now the first thing uh, the first difference between fats and oils are they're basically the same thing fats are are uh, those molecules that are solids at room temperature so it's called a fat but if it solidifies uh, it liquefies at room temperature it's in the in liquid state then it would be called an oil uh, the basic structure is exactly the same they're basically complicated esters they're very large molecules that have these ester links so i've uh, drawn one example of a typical fat molecule you have these ester links in between so it's going to be a large complicated molecule with the c double bond o uh, followed by a single bond o ester links uh, so these are fat molecules the other th uh, term that you're going to uh, often hear with fats is that there are some fats that are saturated so if you have a saturated fat molecule and you might have an unsaturated fats now the difference between saturated and unsaturated is that unsaturated fats they contain alkene groups or carbon double bond carbon which means that there are double bonds present in unsaturated fat molecules between the two carbon atoms saturated fat molecules on the other hand have no carbon double bond carbon atoms or groups uh, there are no alkene groups in saturated fats now one thing uh, that often comes in association with fats and oils are soaps now remember soaps are formed when in uh, when a fat molecule like the one shown above is hydrolyzed using NaOH now if I hydrolyze this molecule all the ester links are going to break down and they're going to end up forming a carboxylic acid and an alcohol group so if I if I get rid of this ester group if I break this down hydrolyze it all these ester groups are going to break down and you're going to get two uh, the molecule is going to split into two parts one part would be this part over here uh, these three are identical so you're going to get CH3 then you have CH2 16 followed by a C double bond O and you're going to get three of them because um, this is what I'm talking about you have a CH3 followed by CH2 uh, 16 times you have CH2 that means there's CH2 followed by CH2, followed by CH2, then you have a C double bond O. So this part breaks up and there are three of these. So this is exactly the same. This also breaks apart. So you get three groups like these. And the other side, this side over here, this would stay connected, but it's going to break up from these points. So you're going to get this type of molecule. So let me draw that. It's going to be CH2 and then you're going to have an oxygen then you have another ch at below that then you have another oxygen then you have another ch2 and then you're going to have another oxygen so this is one part and remember what we discussed about uh, hydrolysis when you're hydrolyzing something this serial bond o oh, it comes and gets attached to it whereas the single bond o oh, a hydrogen gets attached to it so they all become alcohols now these were the two monomers or these were the two separate molecules that ended up forming this complicated uh, complicated fat molecule remember fats are not polyesters they're just big large complicated molecules they're not very very large but they're big large complicated molecules that have ester links so you can't you they have multiple ester links but they're not basically polyester there are no chains in this so it's not a macromolecule so you get you get these two molecules but since you're hydrolyzing it with NaOH what would happen with NaOH is that this carboxylic acid formed is going to react with the excess NaOH and it would end up forming a salt so it reacts with the excess NaOH because it's a carboxylic acid and acids react with alkalis so instead of getting this specific molecule what you're going to get is you're going to get something like this it's going to be CH3 then you have CH2 16 times and followed by you'll have C double bond O and O and let's say the alkali was NaOH so it's going to be Na plus and there would be three of these molecules so this salt formed these are basically called soaps 
So whenever you hydrolyze a a uh, fat molecule, you get a carboxylic acid part and you get an alcohol part. So you get an alcohol part and you get a carboxylic acid part. But since you're using NaOH, which is an alkali, the carboxylic acid uh, molecule ends up reacting with it, with it and ends up forming a salt, which are called soaps.